Hi guys, good evening. Welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie. And in tonight's video, I will be doing my film review for Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi, which I just got out of seeing just a few short minutes ago. I saw it with my friend earlier tonight. And uh, I've got a, quite a few things to say. And before I uh, go on and on, of course, please be warned that this video review, review will be full of massive, massive spoilers for The Last Jedi. So again, excuse me, very good. So again, if you have not seen The Last Jedi yet and you would like to, uh, please do not keep watching or listening to this video as I will be going into giant, giant spoilers. So you have been warned. Uh, <coughs> that being said... Spoilers for The Last Jedi here on out. Um, here's a spoiler alert for you guys. I did not really like this movie. You know what? I'm sure it's going to shock a number of you because I come off as such a, you know, a blind, uh, adoring fanboy, which I usually am when it comes to big franchises like this. But I got to be honest with you. I wasn't, I wasn't feeling it with The Last Jedi. I liked parts of it. But overall, as a whole, I did not really like it. Parts of it were very, very entertaining, very fun, very funny. But as a whole, did not really care for it. You know, I feel kind of bad too because right after we got out of the theater and I asked my buddy how he liked it and he told me he thought it was very entertaining, it was very good. I think we both had the same kind of reaction to it. Um, but I feel kind of bad. I feel kind of bad now because I wish I had said you know, what had just dawned on me on the drive back home. You know, I told him I liked it, but in reality, I only liked parts of it. You know, I got to be honest here. I liked parts of it. There were parts of it that I really liked, that I really, really enjoyed, but the rest of it, I did not really care for. Okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna do the positive stuff first and the negative stuff last. Okay, positive stuff. Uh, I enjoyed seeing Luke reunite... With Leia, even though he was there in spirit and not as a force ghost, but he somehow projected himself uh, to appear to Leia, to Rey, to Poe, to the Rebels, to uh, Kylo Ren, and then have a lightsaber, mini lightsaber duel with Kylo Ren. Um, I liked their little reunion. I also liked uh, Luke brushing his shoulder off after Kylo and just unloaded on him a Hell Fury firestorm of uh, lasers and uh, big guns. So that was pretty funny. And I was also thinking to myself, how the hell did he survive that? And then it's revealed, oh, he was there in spirit, you know, not, um, not really physically there. And then later it's revealed that he must have used all of his strength and then died out there on his own little island. Okay, that's how you're gonna end Luke Skywalker, really? Okay. The biggest thing that was on my mind the entire time as I was watching this movie, and I think this is what was so distracting to me, is that I was constantly reminded of the fact while sitting there in the theater while watching the movie, I had this thing in the back of my mind that would not go away that was reminding me that The Force Awakens was basically a soft remake of A New Hope, and that bothers the hell out of me. You know what? For the longest time, I told myself I enjoyed The Force Awakens. I think I still do on some level, but it is not my favorite Star Wars movie. And The Last Jedi is certainly not my favorite Star Wars movie. Here's the problem. The last Star Wars movie I saw on the big, on the big screen in theaters was about a year ago, and that was Rogue One. Rogue One, I left the theater feeling excited. I left it feeling happy. I left it feeling thrilled. I did not feel any of these things with The Last Jedi. The past couple movies I've seen in theaters over the past few months, the most recent two being Thor Ragnarok and Justice League, I left both of those films leaving happy, excited, thrilled, and had a big smile on my face. The Last Jedi did not do any of those things for me. I laughed, I got excited at during certain parts of The Last Jedi, but overall, as the movie itself in whole, it wasn't uh, it wasn't really clicking with me. 
You know, I uh, did get quite a thrill. I think the highlight for me was uh, Yoda's surprise cameo. You know, spoiler alert, Yoda made an appearance as a Force ghost. And I think what was even even cooler is that they used the original puppet from uh, The Empire Strikes Back, which was uh, pretty phenomenal. Well, if it wasn't the exact puppet, it was a damn good replica, a damn good, uh, you know, uh, recreation of it. Um so that was uh, that was surprising and quite enjoyable. Although I am a little thrown off that Yoda would suddenly disregard an entire ancient religion that he had dedicated his entire existence to by setting it ablaze. It's like, okay, is this a fresh start for Luke or is this a fresh start for the franchise where we can disregard the old rules and move forward with a new set of rules for Star Wars? If so... I'm actually okay with that. I like that. I like that they're, it's kind of out with the old, in with the new, but in a more subtle, respectful way, I think. Um, it was just surprising to me that Yoda was so eager to destroy, um, you know, the remnants of the Jedi Order. Although he admitted himself that, uh, even Luke even admitted that he didn't read over all of those old ancient books as much as, um, you know, he claimed to, you know, but, um, it was a, it was a treat seeing Yoda's Force Ghost after all. Uh, the Porgs were probably another huge highlight. I know I may get a lot of grief for saying that, but I don't care. I really, really enjoyed the Porgs, especially scenes with Chewie and the Porgs. In fact, if this movie needed more of anything, it was more scenes with Chewbacca and the Porgs. Like that scene where he's about to feast into one after cooking it on a campfire and they're all looking at him absolutely horrified and saddened and he can't bring himself to eat it because they're all looking at him and like reserved judgment and they all look horrified of it god that was funny super super funny that was enjoyable and that's you know what i think that's gonna be my main sentiment here more scenes of chewbacca in the porgs would have made for a better film at least in this guy's opinion but um you know what i enjoyed all of the performances everybody did a great job uh you know what and um i also liked seeing uh kylo ren kill supreme leader snoke i thought that was an interesting twist um i didn't really understand the whole ray and kylo ren talking to each other uh through the force like they could see each other but they couldn't see their surroundings or some shit like that um that was a bit of a surprise uh and i know Snoke tried to explain it by how he said he made it possible or something like that. But you know what, guys? There was a whole... There was so, so much happening in this movie. There's just so much crammed into one movie. And the movie was very long, by the way. In fact, I might say it was a bit too long. I don't think it needed to be as long as it was. They could have told, I think, the same amount of story in a shorter amount of time. But that's just me. Uh, I think one of the other things that really bothered me is that um, the Rebels spend the entire movie aboard a couple of ships being very, very slowly pursued by the First Order fleet. Like, here's the main Rebel ship, and it's slowly, slowly moving forward, deflecting the, deflecting the blasts uh, from the uh, First Order fleet. And the First Order is slowly slowly following them behind and it's like why don't these guys just speed up get on top of them or get in front of them and then just blow them up well answer is that the movie would be over that's why but um it's like they spent the entire time being slowly slowly pursued by the first order really they this they, they couldn't have hopped from planet to planet or system to system and had a few had had a few more space battles or a few more uh surface battles like uh, ground uh, ground assaults or anything like that it all had to be like a long very long dragged along uh pursuit in space that's that's what they did okay didn't was not a big fan of that um I enjoyed Finn seeing fight Captain Phasma. I thought that was pretty cool. Was a little shocked that she died so suddenly. At least we got to see a glimpse of uh, Gwendolyth... Uh, oh God, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that name wrong. Gwendolyth Christine, you know, the woman from Game of Thrones who plays Captain Phasma. At least we got to see a little glimpse of her beautiful face and her eye when uh, Finn briefly shattered her helmet, which was a great uh, shot, by the way, as he's coming up off the elevating platform and then just boom, Dexter. That was pretty cool. 
So I liked their little fight scene. Um, I also enjoyed, uh, I also enjoyed uh, the relationship between uh, Rose and Finn. I thought that was pretty cool. One of the other things I didn't like is that how uh, I, I, they were teasing that allies of the resistance from the outer rim were going to be showing up at any second to jump in and save the day. Didn't happen. In fact, I thought Luke would make a bit of more of a grander entrance than he did, but uh, not really. I mean, everybody stopped what they were doing and looked at him and watched him as he slowly approached the First Order, but it wasn't all that exciting. Uh, like I said, um, I don't think I liked this movie. I think I liked parts of the movie, but I don't think I liked it overall. You know, And I'm really sorry if some of you feel strongly, differently about the other way. I mean no offense or disrespect. This is just how I feel. If you thought this was the greatest Star Wars movie of all, then good for you. I'm happy for you. I'm glad that you're happy and satisfied with this. I personally was not, you know. I will still see episode 9 for what it's worth. I just won't go in with super high hopes. You know what? I am excited, though, for the solo a Star Wars story because uh, if there's anything I enjoyed about Rogue One is that it had more originality to it than uh, Force Awakens did. And uh, I think the spinoffs are going to be a lot more fun than uh, the upcoming uh, f uh, the other upcoming films. Although I am curious about what Ryan Johnson is going to do with the franchise once he gets his own trilogy. That should be more promising since hopefully that will be uh, more original storytelling and not soft remakes of the original films. Well, guys, what did you think of uh, The Last Jedi? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you stuck somewhere in between like me? Did you like it or did you only like parts of it? Please feel free to sound off down below in the comments section. I'd love to hear from everybody. You may disagree with one another, of course, but please keep it civil and be respectful of one another's beliefs and opinions. And, uh, of course, don't forget to subscribe for more future film reviews like this one. You know what? Um, depending on how many more times I see this film, which will most likely be just once more, one more time when I go back home for the holidays, um, uh, maybe I'll change my mind or my tone about this film. But for now, I think I'm on a pretty neutral level with it. You know, I did not walk out of the theater feeling uh, totally satisfied, I, ha I have to say. So it is what it is. On to the next movie. All right, guys, have a great rest of the weekend. If I don't see you again, Star Wars Last Jedi is now playing in theaters. Be careful for in social media, internet. Uh, it is dark and full of spoilers. Have a great rest of the night. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.